Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're going to be playing with the new ColourPop palette. Well, I guess it's really not new anymore because of how they launched so much. But it's the Star Wars and Darth Vader palette. Now, I received, or well, I bought the other two palettes, the Mandalorian and the other thing. I forget which one it was now because I like the color stories. I'm not a really big Star Wars fan. I mean, I watched them when I was a kid, but those were the older Star Wars. Anywho, the collector in me said I needed this one. So I bought it, and this is what it looks like. Now, this is definitely, most definitely, not up my color story at all. This is so scary to me. It's unreal. Um, I am very much not into dark smoky colors I guess um, they really intimidate me as I'm just a consumer of makeup but the packaging was so cute and I had to get it you know you just have to sometimes so we're gonna go ahead and start and jump into this um, and you can see how the shadows perform this is the look I created on this eye I don't think I did too bad um, but it was the only thing I could really come up with, to be honest with you. So, the first shade I'm going to go into is Imperial Forces. Honestly, some of these shades aren't, like, that intimidating. Like, if I just went in with this and, like, a shimmer, one of the, like, that lid shade on my eye, I could do that. You know what I mean? Like, I could do that. What's intimidating to me is when you start getting into really dark colors. That's where I'm like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, you know, because like, I'm just, you know, I'm not a makeup artist. And I don't know about you all, but I don't have all, well, I mean, I kind of do have all the time in the world, but like, I don't like, if you're trying to create a look, you generally don't have all the time in the world. You know what I mean? And I'm the type of person that I'm like all or nothing. I ha I don't know and I don't know a middle ground, right? So I will love you with all my heart, or I'm not gonna have nothing to do with you. You know, I, I am just that way. I don't know. I I'm the same way with everything, though. It's either all or nothing. When it comes to work, it's all or nothing. But it, it uh, it's a blessing and a curse, all in one really to be honest and fair but I generally if I don't have all the time in the world in which that's what this kind of look takes for me then I'm just not going to do it but that goes the same with everything like if I don't have time to actually sit down and relax and do my makeup I'd rather not, to be honest. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because, like, that's... Like, I do my makeup as a way of relaxing, in a sense. A way of me time. So, if I'm not going to have that time, it's like, why do it? You know what I mean? The next color I'm going to go into is the Empire. So, I just, I just don't. I, don't, I mean, I, in a sense, it makes sense, you know? Because, obviously, I'm not putting makeup on for somebody else. It's for me. But it's for me as in to play, not necessarily to make myself look better. Because I'm more than comfortable with going out and, you know, probably with no makeup. And I'm comfortable going out with makeup, kinda. Wasn't so comfortable wearing that blue eyeshadow though, I will say that much. I'm really not for sure on how people were staring either. I was kind of like, are they staring because I'm just wearing blue eyeshadow and that's a little weird for where I'm located? Or are they staring because it's bad? I was kind of insecure with the stares, to be honest. But again, I mean, the shadows work very well. As far as that goes, like, I didn't have any problems with them or anything like that. But it's definitely, like, not my color story by no means, you know? But 
But at the same time, it does, you know, challenge you, I suppose. It definitely challenged me. Like this, I usually takes me less time to do than this eye. I mean, other than the fact that I talk. But like if I was just sitting here doing it, this eye would generally take less time. And I think it's because I've like already got it in my head on how I'm doing it. But this I took a while to do today. And it, it was nothing with the shadows themselves. It was just me. It was me trying to figure out what shades to, you know, work together, what. And then going very slow with them because, you know, you can't very well. I'm just going to pinch that same brush and run it under my lower lash line. You can't very well. If you mess up with a darker shade, it's going to be harder to fix, you know. And I know that. But I tried. I really did try. Which it is fun to get outside your comfort zone every now and then. So I did order the new um, palette from Natasha Denona. The pastels. I know. I know. I'm not supposed to be buying. And I ordered the NARS palette. I can't think of the name of it, but I ordered it also. It's part of their summer, I think, collection. I didn't order the brush or the blushes that came with it because I kind of have them and the bronzers. So I didn't really feel the need to do that part. So I didn't. I'm going to take the color I Am The Master and run it right on the lower lash line. And this is a kind of a pretty red, to be honest. You don't really get to see it that much because it's under this gray. But, like, swatching it, it is pretty. It's not a shade that I tend to, you know, gravitate to, but... It is pretty. And I'm not wetting the brush or anything like that. I will say the only interesting thing about it, the palette, I'm now going to go into Sixth Sith Lord. I hope I said it right, Sith Lord. Um, is that it has like a um, one of their uh, what are they called? Shoot, Super Shock Shadows in it. Is what it looks like. It looks like they put a Super Shock in there. And I really like that color that they chose. And I like the, um, that they put one in. I don't know if they've ever done that before. They should. It's pretty cool. But I do wonder if it'll dry up. Because if you don't tighten those super shock shadows, they will dry up. So I do kind of wonder that. But if they don't, that's, that's awesome. And again, even this darker color, like it applies nicely on top of the other shades. It blends well, but I'm going in very slowly. Because I'm scared. <laughs> 
but I guess at the same time, if I had to, you know, use darker shades, I do like using the ColourPop shades or shadows because I find it easy to work with. And I'm using Sigma brushes. Thought I'd break out the big guns. <laughs> can't really see on how far over I took that purple, but I think I'm good there. I'm going to go back into the Empire. Like I said, it is hard to do one eye first and then the other eye, I think. Personally. Because it's a lot easier to just jump in with colors and you know if you got, you know, each side correct and looking the same. But also that darker color really does make like the other colors, oh, I'm sorry, more like you could make it even darker of a look. I'm going to go into shade Death Star now. I'm not going to wet it. And I'm just going to pat that on the lid. Again, I didn't get any fallout with this when I used it. But if I did, it would be my own fault because I could wet the brush. Or maybe even apply it with my fingers. So I used to watch Star Wars when I was a kid. I haven't watched any of the newer Star Wars. I know, don't, don't judge, don't judge. But... Does this color story line up with the new Star Wars? Because honestly, to me, I think it should have been. Not that I'm complaining, because I think it's dark enough. But if you're really going off a of dark Vader, I mean, he's or yeah, he's black, like black black. You know the like the shiny black. I don't know <laughs> whatever whatever he was wearing, but I mean. I don't know if it's the same in the new ones or what, but I do kind of think that in my head it doesn't match up, but then maybe it does because I haven't watched any of the newer, you know, Star Wars. And I don't even know if it's based off of what the older Star Wars was, to be honest, so I could be wrong there even. I'm just going to go back into that darker color. sure I get them the same. And then this is the super, super shock shadow that it feels like anyway. It's called Stormtrooper. It's a really pretty color though. I do like it. Especially for like inner corner. Just gonna 
take it up a little bit. There we go. I'm sorry if you can hear the noise in the background. I don't live near an interstate, but I'm kind of like right there. So it must be a busy night tonight because it's loud out there. Um, I think I got both eyes the same. I am going to run this red under this lash line one more time. And then this is kind of the best I'm going to get it, I believe, as far as that goes. Eyelash curler. I'm going to curl these lashes. And then I'm going to use the YSL Oops. mascara for my top lashes. It is the Lash Clash. Lash. I would, that's like a tongue twister. Kinda. And we're just gonna pop this on the top lashes. I got a sample of it when I ordered from Sephora or trial size. to try it out. I've heard mixed reviews really on it. My review is kind of out. I'm not really sure yet how I feel about it. But I don't have the best of lashes. They're getting better, but they're not the best. But I don't think I'm ever going to have the best. And I keep trying false lashes, but I just don't think I'm ever going to get there. I know they say practice makes perfect, but I believe there's just some things you just can't perfect. And I can kind of get them on, but they don't look right on me. And I have hooded eyes. So, like, it really... And one's more hooded, one's downturned, like, it's just a mess. And I really didn't notice these things, really, until I started aging. Well, really, until I started really getting into makeup, I didn't notice a lot of things. I never really, like, really looked at yourself, you know, in a mirror. And when you don't know what you're doing, like, you really do have to look at yourself in a mirror, like, and figure every nook and cranny out. And even then, I'm not a professional, so I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is, I suppose. And then I'm going to put the Lancome Death and Seals on the bottom lashes. And I do like this mascara though for my bottom lashes. I don't mind it for my top when I just want to, you know, like quick application. All right. I think I did them way longer than I made these ones. Alright, 
person now I gotta clean it up. Okay. I think. I got both eyes the same. I hope. I don't know. We'll just hope and pray. Alright, so that is all I got for you today using the ColourPop Star Wars palette. This is the final look. I really hope it turned out okay though. I think it did. I don't think I did too bad. Again, I'm a beginner, so I'm not expecting a masterpiece. Smack myself in the face, I suppose. That might make me a little smarter. I don't think I hit myself hard enough, though, to make me a little smarter, to be honest with you. But if you're into dark colors, I mean, this palette may be right up your alley. If you're just getting it for nostalgia or you like Star Wars or it's a sort of like a collector's thing, I mean, you're going to be able to use it. There's definitely shades in here that you can use. So, that are lighter that, like, you're not going to be so intimidated by. And then you can slowly just add in the darker colors, even. That would be the way I would have to use the palette, because I am very intimidated. But that's all I got for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got to see how the shadows performed, and you can make that judgment call. Um, I can't think of... I, like I said, I did order the Natasha and the New Nars palette, so I will have those two coming. But other than that... I think I get to go back to older palettes again, I think. I'm hoping. I'm really wanting to. Like, I really do want to go through my collection, so. But that's all I got. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I am trying to upload regularly. I'm trying. I know it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But I don't want people to buy stuff that they don't think that they're going to be able to use either, you know? So, what you're getting is a beginner standpoint on things. So, alright. Well, you guys stay safe and stay healthy. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. As I knock everything down.